uh, this is a talent I have developed when I was the age of six years. But before that, I, my mom was pregnant when my dad passed away, and I stayed with my mom for six years. She also passed away. So I was thinking of what can I do, what I can do at that time to make myself happy because I was born alone. So through that, I started picking up scraps from trash areas on my way home. And I realized with scraps, I could still make things work. So this invention kick-started by manufacturing touch light out of scraps to an extent of having a greater part of my community and the nearby villages benefiting from my handiwork. Since then, I have always found myself in doing things that will make life more easier and convenient. And it's through that I'm able to support my education to senior high level. And with all these things, uh, I'm able to create my own helicopter out of scraps that is paint container. That is, as you can see from this picture, it was made out of paint containers. And this is my main target, just to support the Ministry of Agriculture to spray farms. And this one can spray about 1,000 acres of land just within uh, 24 hours. And if you are to calculate the number of people that will be used to spray the same land, you will need about more than 10,000. So Salifu prides himself in thinking outside the box, and his desire is to make life better for the deaf and dumb. I also have a 3D model. That's prototypes of burden. Indians and Chinese, when it comes to architecture, they are the best. And they used to say that failure to plan in construction is like planning to fail until you plan and the best way to plan is to use prototype with a prototype with your prototype it will help us to create more employment opportunities for those who are devs and dumps because these are some of the work that they can do just to support the agricultural system and they also used to say that it doesn't matter how a theory or uh, something look like if it doesn't match with the experiment it's considered to be wrong that is why they are always interested in the prototypes so you look at a building and this is the final result. And all those who can do these things are those who are devs and dumps so that we impart it on them. So that at the end of the day, they will also be happy with the education that he or she has or acquired. So I actually have a lot of plans for those who are devs and dumps and the youth to moving around complaining of unemployment and others. I actually have a lot of things just to support them because I believe through all this, if I'm able to support my education up to senior high level, with all these small, small things I'm doing, and I'm able to save small, small as well, then I also believe if I impart all these things on the youth, they can also get something from me and then also uh, just do something for themselves. The young man who just turned 24 is brain behind this incubator, a brilliantly innovative system that hatches eggs within 22 days. Poor farmers who cannot afford sophisticated so and expensive it. equipment well, well, have a cheaper days, option. So everything will hatch for you. Guinea fowl, turkey, local eggs, anything at all, it will be able to hatch for you. And apart from that, we also have a bulb inside. 100, 100 watts bulb and then we have fun inside. The function of the fan is to regulate the heat around the, around the incubator. And this is a water. This water actually produces moisture for the air to hatch perfectly, you know. Salifu grew up dreaming to change the world for the better. It drives his rise arguably to the city's youngest inventor and one of the most recognizable faces of innovation. He recounts how he thrived from a high school business student to become a significant player in the industry. Salifu has one wish. Okay, for now, uh, because of financial support, uh, I'm not able to further my education to the tertiary and I wish to uh, further my education to the tertiary so that I can actually uh, get more knowledge just to impart it on the youth. And financially, I'm not getting any support because uh, I rent, I pay light bill, I pay water bill, and I feed myself. I do everything for myself. And I'll be very happy to get support from non-governmental organizations, government bodies, and any other supporting agencies just to further my education, to actually let my dream actually come to flourishing. Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin reporting.